Hey guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing the Dyson Corral Straightener and it retails for $499. If you're not familiar with Dyson, they normally make household appliances and they're very advanced in the technology space. And within the past five years or so, they've been making their way into the beauty industry. They recently, or they started off with the blow dryer and then an air wrap and then just recently came out with this straightener i believe it was last year when they came out with us so the straightener retails for 499 dollars it comes with a two-year warranty which includes parts and labor it also comes with a 30-day money back guarantee the thing about this straightener is that it is wireless, so that's quite amazing. And it comes with flexing plates, is uh, what I read from their website. And these plates are made out of manganese copper alloy. And what it allows you to do is it allows you to grab a bunch of your hair to create the same style by using less heat and then ultimately creating less damage to your hair this charger when it's or this straightener when it's a hundred percent fully in charge the wireless component is going to last you about 30 minutes or so and uh it claims to reduce frizz which i have used it a couple of times so um you will see that i do see a reduction in frizz and flyaways which is really really great for the summertime temperature settings are not the best you can't really customize your temperature settings if you're used to the dial you're not really going to see that here there are three temperatures you could choose from 330 365 and 410 at your max so i'm going to go ahead and kind of show you i'm going to straighten my hair this is my hair it was uh air dried I put it in a braid while it was damp and the only products that I put in my hair is the Olaplex, um, this is the bonding oil and I put that in my hair when it was damp and then I also put in the Don't Despair Repair Straightening Treatment Oil in my hair as well and this is how my hair looks naturally um, when it was um, what again I braided it so that's why you're gonna see some uh, some waves in it but my hair is uh, normally naturally pretty straight uh, I haven't been putting a lot of heat on my hair uh, due to this pandemic but because I haven't had uh, any place that I needed to go to but yeah let's just uh, get into showing you how it works so if you switch this it'll go ahead and open there's your power button and you can see it's 100% charge. So I'm gonna go ahead and select my temperature setting now. And I chose the 330, which is the lowest setting. So it's gonna give me a little indicator when it's warmed up and ready for me to use. So I'm just gonna set that down while I part my hair real quick. Now I don't have real thick hair. Uh, I do have thick hair, but it's not super, super thick. So I could just uh, uh, do it in a half. And there you go, if you heard that, my Dyson is ready for me to use. So I just part my hair like so. And I'm gonna take my Mason Pearson brush and I'm gonna go ahead and comb through it. So now that it's ready to go, wireless, go ahead and straighten it. So I can grab a whole bunch of hair and I'm gonna tell you, like, I'm gonna grab this big section right here. And the thing about me is I like some texture in my hair, so I'm not going to get very precise in terms of if every strand is stick straight, because I that's not the look that I usually go for, but I just kind of want you to see as I'm running this through my hair, it's fairly quick at straightening it. Um, and I know you can't see it on screen, but I don't see any of the, like the heat, the, uh, the heat, the steam coming out. So, which is a good thing. Now, 
I will say that the 330 temperature is a little bit too, it, it, it's too intense for me. Normally I like to keep it at 280 or under to be quite honest because I like a textured look. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my hair. And as you can see, that one side really didn't take me too long. I just went in and I'm just kind of showing you, making sure I didn't miss anything. But I didn't, I really probably spent a minute on it, which is the one thing that I love about this straightener is that you don't have to, based on my hair, you don't really have to continuously go back and it won't take you too long to perfect it. So see, I'm just going to grab the whole chunk. And it's a lot of hair that I'm grabbing in. I'm grabbing like quite a bit and I'm going in. And as you can see, my hair isn't as frizzy as where we started off. And it also isn't, um, uh, actually, it's actually more shiny. That's what I wanted to say. So you could see that. And I'm going to go ahead and fix a little bit of it. Okay, perfect. So this is pretty much good for me. I don't need to really go in and do any more. So I'm going to go ahead and grab one of the clips and just put my hair away so that way it doesn't get in my way for the rest of it. Now here's the top of my hair. You can obviously see that there is some frizz to it. So what I'm going to do is now straighten the top. And I want to do one side at a time so you guys can really see the difference that it makes. So I can go up top. I can get really close to my scalp and I don't feel it any, like I don't feel any burning or tingling sensation um, where I need to move it away at all. So I would say it's pretty easy to use and I'm just going to show you look how shiny and straight my hair is like this is what I love about it it makes your hair sh super shiny feels like silk and very very soft to be quite honest so it's definitely that's a positive for me so as you could see this is one side and this is the other side now again I don't go for that stick straight look so I want to let you know that I did, again, I did keep some texture in it, but this is the side where it's straightened, and this is the side where obviously it's not straightened. So I'm going to go ahead and go do the other side real quick. And you could totally see, again, the frizz is definitely minimized. Um, again, I'm going to say that the heat on here is a little bit too much for me. I definitely would appreciate if there were more options with the heat piece, but I'm not sure if they could have built that in to this model. Maybe the next model will have that because I know um, people don't want to put as much heat on their hair, especially when they're trying to grow it out or make it a little bit more healthy. Um, but yeah, that's why I'm going to keep some texture in my hair. So now I'm going to go ahead and put my hair down. And obviously this is the finished result. You can add some extra hair oil on top to style it, um, or whatever you do for your finishing touches. Normally I just leave it alone because I like that natural look, but I'm very, very happy because like the flyaways aren't irrelevant and um, my hair is smoother, softer, silkier. It just feels very warm, so definitely don't really like that. But I'm going to go ahead and power it down and you could just go ahead and press that. It'll go ahead and turn off. It takes about a few minutes to cool off. Um, if you leave it on for an extensive or extended amount of time, it'll go ahead and turn off by itself. So. Other things that the straightener comes with, which I just want to show you really quick, is this bag. It's the travel bag. You can travel with this on the airplane. It has like a little airplane mode on this side. You could just like pull this piece out 
while you're flying. It's very easy to charge. You can actually charge it alone. It comes with this charger and what I love about it is it's magnetic, super easy to use and extremely convenient. And it also comes with this stand where you could kind of lay it flat. You wanna make sure it's off, lay it flat. Um, obviously it would be closed. And then you could just plug in the charger here and it could uh, charge while it's standing. So I would definitely recommend this product if you're a fan of Dyson, um, you support them, or you just want to have the wireless functionality because honestly, that's the only reason I bought this charger. I only bought it because it had the wireless functionality, but it only lasts you 30 minutes, right? So that's the part where you're gonna have to gauge if your hair can be straightened in less than 30 minutes. Otherwise, you're gonna be looking for an outlet to go ahead and charge your um, uh, appliance and then go ahead and use it. It's just super convenient if you have like an event or a wedding to go to and a bunch of girls are getting ready together at the same time. It'll just really save some time because you're not going to be the person who's going to be hogging the outlet. So that's one of the positives. Obviously price is negative. I did purchase it on the Sephora VIB Rouge sale so I did get 20% off and then with my rewards that I used I got another 5% off so that was about a 25% um, percent off uh, savings which is better than zero but honestly I hadn't purchased a straightener within the past six years this was my first purchase I used to use the Remington straightener from Target for under $30 and I absolutely loved it it was amazing I just wanted to go ahead and give this one a try. So if you have the budget or the means for it, I would say go ahead and check it out. You can't go wrong with Dyson. Honestly, I love their technology. I love the creativity and all the advancements that they're always making, but you can definitely get away with the $30 straightener. GHD is great. Cheese great. Um, based, uh, I would just purchase things based off of your price. But yes, the straightener is great at removing flyaways and creating a great shiny silky head of hair um, and you will see the difference I truly do believe that but if you you know again if the price is the biggest concern I would say you can go ahead and skip it and go ahead and purchase one of the other alternatives I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and thank you for watching